Hello everybody, Zero Fossil Fuel. Today is Sunday, May 16. I stopped at Lowe's, the Lowe's Home Improvement Center in Southington last night, picked up my pH test kit after dinner, and uh, I've assembled all of the pieces necessary to um, test the soil before I begin planting the seeds so that I know what nutrients are present or absent from the soil before I begin. That way I'll have hopefully achieve the best result from the garden. I've got distilled water that, uh, that I purchased, which I happen to have on hand simply because I use it to make my colloidal and nano silver. We'll talk about that in another video. Uh, paper cup, the test tablets that come with the kit, four, four, colored vi four vials with colored caps, instruction manual, and the color code chart that you use to compare the results against. And uh, my wife's pampered chef measuring spoon, so I don't tell her that I use that because she'll probably be angry. Now, the first thing I did was I took, uh, took some soil from the garden and I crushed it up per the instructions in the manual. And uh, then I sifted it with a kitchen sifter onto a piece of white paper and allowed it to dry. So what I end up with is just powdered soil. This is what I'll be using to mix in my vials for doing the tests. We're going to become a little bit of a chemistry student here today. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to measure for the pH of the soil. This is whether, whether it's acidic or alkaline. All right, so this is uh, going to be the test. It says uh, spread out your soil on a piece of paper. Use the back of a spoon to crush any lumps together bigger than a pea and let the soil dry. So remove the green cap from the tube. Fill, the t fill to the top line with water. Pour a little water in there. The reason we use distilled water is because uh, of its purity. If I was to use tap water, uh, even my own tap water from an artesian well, it has quite a bit of copper in it, and that could skew the results of the test. So we want to make sure that we start with pure water in, before we begin the test. So be sure you have distilled water on hand. Add one soil pH test tab. This kit has ten, ten tests, uh, enough tablets for ten complete tests. So I don't imagine I will use these in several growing seasons. I'll just drop the tablet in there. Immediately I see it begin to dissolve. Cap the tube with the green cap. Mix by inverting ten times. One cap full of soil. Maybe you'd like to see that. Okay, now I'm going to cap it and I'm going to invert it 10 times. Okay, so I've run the test now and I'm just going to hold the vial up against the chart and based on the color of the fluid matched up against the chart, I'm going to say that this has a pH value of about 5.0. Next step is we're going to test for nutrients in the soil. In the nutrient test, we're going to mix up in a paper cup some soil and a couple of tablets, and then we're going to use this as our, as our base material to conduct the remaining three tests. So it says measure two tablespoons of water into a paper cup. Add two Flocex whatever that stands for, test tabs, stir with a spoon until the tablets break apart and disintegrate. To this I will be adding one teaspoon of soil to the cup and then I'm going to stir that for a minute, for one minute. This says allow the tube to sit for one minute or until the soil settles to the bottom of the cup pinch the top of the cup together to form a spout. Now we're going to add one teaspoon of soil. I think I promise I will wash these out thoroughly when I'm done with my little experiment, okay? I promise. Okay, so there's one teaspoon of soil. And stir for one minute. So 
So the first test is nitrogen. Remove the red cap from the tube, fill to the bottom line with clear solution in the paper cup. Add one nitrate WRCTA test tab, cap the tube, and shake vigorously for two minutes. Wait five minutes for the color to develop. So I've got my five milliliters, and I'm going to take one nitrate test tab, drop it in, cap it, and shake vigorously for two minutes. All right, that's two minutes. I'm going to let that sit now, restart my stopwatch, and that will take five minutes. So while that's developing, I will start the phosphorus test. Remove the blue cap from the tube, add a quarter teaspoon of the clear solution above the soil. Okay, so quarter teaspoon. You know, they could have just given us a line on the bottom of this tube that equal to quarter teaspoon. Would have been easier. Anyhow, I'm going to fill this the rest of the way. with clear water up to the 10 milliliter mark. Add one FOS tab. Mix until it disintegrates. And wait five minutes for this color to develop. So I am at the three minute mark for my nitrogen. That means when I am at eight minutes, I should have a developed color for this. So I'll finish waiting for the nitrogen to nitrogen color to develop and then we'll see where we are. Okay, we're at the five minute mark for the nitrogen test and the end result doesn't even look like a shade of red like what they have on the chart. It's uh, almost uh, an orangey yellow. So I'm gonna say that what I've got here is fairly low nitrogen based on the, the color chart that I've got here. Next we'll be looking at the results for the phosphorus. All right, we're at the five minute mark for our phosphorus test. Comparing it to the color chart, you can see that it is fairly pale in color, so I need uh, quite a bit of phosphorus in my fertilizer as well. And then the last test is for potassium. Add one test tab, cap, mix until the tablet disintegrates, hold the tube over the black squares on the potassium color chart. So I guess we don't wait any, any length of time for this one. We just mix it and check it. Based on what I see in this test sample, I'm going to say that I have probably a medium amount of potassium. So that concludes the test. Um, with the information that I've collected, I know that the pH of my soil is, is fairly acidic. I'm going to need a little bit of lime to make it a little bit more alkaline, bring it up closer to six, six and a half. Where the, where the vegetables prefer to grow in. I know that my nitrogen is very low, so my, my fertilizer that I choose will have to be rich in nitrogen, will have to be rich in phosphorus, and potassium, it appears, is uh, marginal in the soil, so I won't need much, or if any, potassium to add to the soil to, to get it to balance out. I hope I've demystified the process of testing soil a little bit. This is the first time for me and uh, now it's time to go to the home improvement center of choice and pick out some fertilizer and get the soil prepped for the seeds to go in. That's all for now. Zero Fossil Fuel, thanks for following along. I hope you're enjoying the, the Freedom Garden Project. Peace, everyone.